The animal picking machine has many beautiful teddy bears. Pinkie Pie wants to try her hand at picking up a stuffed animal. Pinkie Pie's target is the stuffed animal Applejack Baby. The first time failed. Not discouraged, Pinkie Pie tried again a second time. Oh no, the stuffed animal is stuck again. Not willing to fail, Pinkie Pie did it a third time. Oh yeah, successfully got the Applejack baby stuffed animal. Huh? Oh my god, suddenly the animal picking machine had a problem. Huh? No stuffed animals anywhere. <laughs> oh no, the stuffed animal was damaged due to the machine's malfunction. Applejack's baby is dissatisfied because the animal claw machine broke at a crucial moment. Pinkie Pie brought it back and fixed it. Stuffed animals are cleaner now. Applejack baby stuffed animals hat is torn. Brush the stuffed animal's mane and tail. There are still tears, and the cotton is sticking out. Pinkie Pie comes up with a way to use rattan to replace missing cotton. Finally caught the cloud. The cloud is just enough to replace the missing cotton. Pinkie Pie uses an apple batch. Now add a hat to complete the Applejack baby doll. Great! The Applejack baby plush has been revised. Twilight Sparkle starts up the toy production line. The dolls are moved down the line to be sprayed with color and then put on hats. The completed dolls are placed in a cart for transportation. Oh no! Something went wrong with the machine. The final doll was not completed and was defective. Twilight Sparkle discovered the doll was defective. Oh no! If the defective doll is not repaired, it will be discarded, thus the gift will be lost. First, Twilight Sparkle took this defective doll to be washed first. Put the doll in the washing machine, pour in detergent, start it and wait. After washing, it is still wet and needs to be dried to dry. The mane and tail appear to be ruffled. Hmm. Uh -huh. 
Twilight Sparkle thought of a way and using cotton candy instead was a really creative idea. The first one, followed by the second one. All work has been completed. Oh yeah, everything is almost brand new, the doll has been completely repaired but it still seems like something is missing. Perfect. The time has come, it's time to go deliver gifts. Let's go. Today is Blue's birthday, he is celebrating his birthday with his friends Red and Orange. The atmosphere is really fun and happy, isn't it? Orange gives Blue a crown mirror. It really suits Blue. Red seems to be plotting something. Red threw his gift box at Blue, then he quickly took the cake and ran away. Blue is sad when he opens the gift box given by Red, which is a broken pony doll. Blue thought, and then he thought of something. Twilight Sparkle doll is very badly damaged. Can Blue fix it? Let's watch it together. Blue wants to reattach the horn to the Twilight Sparkle doll. Blue is so meticulous with the horn. After fixing the doll's eyes, Blue took out a bottle of alcohol and sprayed it on the Twilight Sparkle doll's body. It seems that using alcohol alone will not clean the Twilight Sparkle doll's body. After thinking for a while, Blue decided to take out the box of Kana Poker. Let's see if Blue can clean the doll. Oh no, it doesn't look good. Blue decided to cut off the doll's mane and tail. Blue uses paint to recolor the doll, and lo and behold, it works. <laughs> Blue tells Wooly what he wants to use his fur for. Wooly still disagrees with Blue's opinion, but Blue tries to convince Wooly and finally succeeds. Blue is very grateful to Wooly because he gave him his fur. After a lot of hard work, 
Blue has finally completed the final details for his Twilight Sparkle doll. Amanda is enjoying playing with her Rainbow Dash Pony doll. Insert the battery into the doll to make it work. The doll is really cute and adorable. I also want to have one. Amanda was very angry when she saw her favorite doll broken. Even though Wooly didn't mean it, he still felt very sorry for his friend. Wooly quickly took the doll for a repair. There are loose legs and fur. Wade turns into a bar of soap to clean the doll's stains. What do you think Ember will do? Wow! Wooly is so smart! Melt the straw to get the adhesive and apply it to the scratched face of the doll. You see! Sometimes when an object is broken, it's not necessary to buy a new one right away. Let's use what's available and repair it intelligently and effectively. Uh -huh. It will help you save a lot. Okay. Is there even hairdressing? So thoughtful, Wooly. We'll curl Rainbow's bangs. Add the medicine and wait for your hair to curl. Fixed hair drying. I look forward to the results. The baby was already beautiful and is now even more beautiful. As for the broken legs, we will use glue to fix them. So that's it then. How do you feel about the doll after it was repaired? Amanda was happy to see that her doll had been renewed. Oh. <laughs> Wade and Ember happily hug each other. Love makes us love life more. Wow. <gasps> Wade gave Ember an aerial doll, oh but due to Ember's physical condition, the doll burned. Wade comforts Ember and they leave immediately. Rarity passed by and saw it and immediately brought it home to repair the doll. Oh my god! The doll was burned and blackened. The doll needs to be cleaned. Spray water on your face to clean it. Wade helps by turning into a piece of soap to wash Ariel's whole body. Oh. <laughs> it's really useful.
the fishtail is completely torn and needs to be replaced with a new fishtail. It was difficult because Ariel was so damaged. You are very smart. Use vegetable coloring books to make Ariel's fishtail. I must learn from you about this creativity. Not only are you creative, but you are also skillful. There's also a bra. The outfit is done. The familiar red hair to identify Ariel. I have never seen such a beautiful doll. I want to have one so much. Rainbow Dash and TV Man are happily playing basketball together. Rainbow prepares to hit the ball into the basket, looking very professional. Oh my god! Before he could catch the ball, TV Man had the ball fly into the TV's face, breaking the screen. Quickly bring TV Man back for a repair. If the screen breaks, you should buy a new screen to replace it. However, there are still many wires inside so I need to fix the inside as well. Wipe the screen clean and then glue the cracked part back together. Hope this works. I think this method is difficult to cure completely. Take the paint sprayer and repaint it like new. As I expected, oh, no. the TV broke again. Do not repair the inside of the TV. Huh? Oh. What you need to do is buy a new TV. Must go online to buy things now. Truly fast shipping, Rainbow Dash soon received the order. Let's peel the goods. Wow. <laughs> huh? The TV is so good, quickly install it for TV Man. <laughs> Reinsert the old memory card. TV Man is back to normal. Oh <laughs> Rainbow Dash is happy to see TV Man healthy again. <sighs> TV Man's muscles chased Rainbow to get compensation. 
Bon Bon is happily playing with the doll. Wow! Hello! Wow! Bon Bon doesn't want Chef Pigster near his doll. Bon Bon immediately put the doll in his closet to avoid others touching it. Bon Bon had fun playing on the seesaw with Jumpa Josh. Chef Pigster sees an opportunity so he steals Bon Bon's doll. But unfortunately Chef Pigster tripped and broke Bon Bon's doll. Bon Bon did not see his doll and immediately told Jumpo Josh the previous incident. Chef Pigster plotting to blame Jumpo? This baby is so naughty. <laughs> it's really annoying that Bon Bon misunderstood Jumpo Josh. Now Jumpo has to endure Chef Pigster's wrongdoings. Clean all stains on the doll. Then use glue to reattach the doll's head. Spray the paint on the doll again. Now the doll is like new again. I wish I could fix it as skillfully as you. Bon Bon didn't know anything so he still had fun playing with Chef Pigster. Jumpo brought the repaired doll to Bon Bon. Bambolina explains and tells the truth to Bon Bon. Bon Bon understood and scolded Chef Pigster. Happy friends are back together. A beautiful day to organize an outdoor picnic. The dishes are fully and carefully prepared. Bon Bon couldn't resist and ate a large piece of chicken thigh. The last chicken thigh but no one was willing to give it up. An uninvited guest suddenly appeared. Suddenly Ban Ban and Jumbo Josh discovered something unusual. Oh no, a pile of bird not only eats food but now also bullies you. Ban Ban uses a racket to catch the pile of bird. A pile of bird unexpectedly turned out to be very cunning and stood high up, and the Bon Bon could not catch it. The combination of the two people still could not catch the pile of bird, not only that, but they were also counter damaged.
What did Bon Bon and Jumbo Josh plan to punish O Pilot Bird? Ban Ban came up with the idea of making wings to fly. Now it's time to test the manufactured product. Oh no, the wings were torn and caused Ban Ban to fall. This method doesn't work. Jumbo Josh thought of another way. Pinkie Pie wants to take a bath. Uck, what happened to their faucet? Suddenly the faucet vibrated. Oh wow, that's Wade Baby. The meeting was full of surprises. Wade Baby is feeling hungry and wants to eat something. Pinkie Pie leads Wade Baby into the dining room. Wade Baby always wants to eat. Okay. Huh? <laughs> wow. <laughs> ha! Chocolate milk splashed all over Wade Baby's body. As for the strawberry milk box, Pinkie Pie gave her a straw so that Wade Baby could drink more easily. The milk box was finished deliciously. Oh no, Wade Baby's whole body has turned the color of strawberry milk. Wade Baby wants ice. Not milk. Oh no! Oh, no. Wade Baby feels sad and doesn't want to eat vegetables. Huh? <laughs> okay. Finally, Pinkie Pie gave in and fed Wade Baby ice. Oh. Wow. <laughs> Wade Baby eats very deliciously. Oh my god, Baby Wade needs a new diaper. The diaper needs to be removed to be changed. The water is too hot. The water temperature has been changed appropriately and Wade Baby feels excited about it. Oh. Now apply soap evenly all over your body. A new diaper was changed and both of them felt happy. <laughs> 